So today, I'm going on a school field trip. Yay! It's gonna be so much fun. It's like second grade all over again, except I'm like 5'8 instead of, I don't know, 2'4". I got a pretty poppin' vlog channel. Uh, yeah, it's William Willis. I decided to move because I didn't want to be judged super hard. Anyway, yo, what's up? As I said, we're going on a field trip. It's pretty dope. I want to harken back to a better time, a brighter time, a world where we could just go on school field trips and not feel judged. So we are going to Metlock, Germany to explore a factory from the company of Villeroy and Bock. There's no pretentiousness about it. That's the actual way you're supposed to say it. We get to tour, guess what? A sanitary wear factory. And you might be wondering, what is a sanitary wear factory? Toilets, shower toilets, waterless toilets, practically every single toilet that you could imagine. It's a behind the scenes action of toilet making. Exploring a toilet factory really isn't like my first choice of things I would love to do on a school field trip, but you know, beggars can't be choosers. Villeroy & Bock is one of the largest ceramic manufacturers in the world. It makes sense that ceramics would need to be made, but like I never thought who did it. Field trip, hey! We riding this bad boy all the way to Metlock. Can I sit here? No. I can't, well I'm sitting here anyway. Okay. Okay. This reclines. Oh shoot. You get a release for What? Am I gonna get release for it? I can just blur out your face. Well, it's fine, yeah. Okay. We're on the move. So I made it to Villaroy and Bach. Sustainability. Just look at the quality of this work right here. The amount of hands craftsmanship it must have taken. So they started out by handing out samples of all the materials that they use. And being the five-year-old that I am, I decided to touch everything. I feel really knowledgeable about all the different types of rocks now. They have a tub chair. This begs the question though, is it comfortable? I'd say it is. It's 123 days without an accident. Hopefully nothing happens today. I think we all know I'm an accident waiting to happen. I'll be very upset if I go to a restroom and there's no Villeroy and Bach toilets. So I can't film on the inside. So I found some pictures of what it might look like online. So first we stopped at the raw materials storage room. It's funny because they have code names for the raw materials. Then we stopped at a molding machine which shows how it takes the materials and turns it into the toilets. There's a guy working. We saw that too. We also saw the oven. During the cooking process, the toilet shrinks by a factor of one third. It sounds like I'm making food. Here's a recipe for a toilet. They also have self-automated robots. So yeah, robots are taking over. And this is the finished product. A Vilroy and Bach toilet. Check this baby out right here. Just watch the flush. <laughs> Beautifully engineered. They make like 3,000 toilets a day. So I got some food. It's called Frikadellen. I have no clue what that is. I think it's better to just eat first and then ask questions later. If you notice, silverware and the plate is Villaroy and Bach. There's just a bunch of Europeans. I think it's a meatball. Company-wise, this is their main abbey, which they bought. That was originally a factory, but now it's a workspace. And then there's a museum that way. So right now we're going to the museum to learn more about ceramics and the history of Villaroy Bach. I think that the tour was honestly pretty informative. Learning how toilets go from coarse materials through like the molding, ceramics, glazing, and everything else to get to the finished product. Cool to see all the things that goes into making something that we use every day that we take for granted. It sucks that I couldn't use a camera. What did they really think I was gonna do with the footage that I took? Sell it to their rivals? Like, I don't think there's that many secrets to the ceramic business, or at least to the toilet industry. I even got a souvenir, this little piece of clay that I got when they cut a little bit of the toilet out and they were just handing out samples and so I'm like, why did I keep this? <laughs> the reason we went on the field trip is because it's about science and technology in the modern world. So we'll be able to see how that small little sector of the porcelain industry kind of interconnects with the rest of Europe as well as the rest of the world. My day hasn't ended even though the field trip is over because I am going to Trier, Germany. Yeah, so tomorrow I'm just going to spend the whole entire day in Trier. It has a whole ton of Roman ruins. An even cooler thing is that I'm not traveling alone. My dad came into Europe this week and was like, yo, let's go exploring Europe. And I'm like, let's do it. I will see y'all tomorrow. Hello. I have no clue what that is. I think it's better to just eat first and then ask questions later. 